you are looking at the drop paper on the desk that I'm working at. I'm just about ready to remove it. Not quite. I want to get some more paint in this area. This is just newspaper. What is this, Mary? <laughs> yes, you are looking right. This is Christmas wrapping paper. Mary, what are you doing? You're going to wrap presents? No, I am going to be doing some painting and I am going to use this Christmas wrapping paper as drop paper. Look, I have been following the Facebook group My Year 2017 and Jerry Bellini is administering a project, a quote a week project that she's doing on index cards. I found this Pioneer Seed calendar and it's got quotes for every day of the year. I might use these because I like them that they're already printed and they are large. So what else am I going to do? Well, in the My Year 2017 group, we had this round robin swap where we were in groups of five and we passed along a priority box filled with art materials that you didn't use very much anymore or that you were willing to part with. Maybe your friend down the list could use it. Well, bless Terry Abrams. Look what she put in that box. This is what I'm going to use for wipe off paper. This is a needlework book, but don't panic. This is an extra one. <laughs> I have two of these, so I decided to use this one for art. The other thing that I want to do, I have a set of mark making tools, what I could gather up. I know there are more. Look, this is an earbud case. I got it at the Dollar Tree. Look at that. That might make some fun jelly prints and larger ones, circles. But what am I going to do first? Well, let me show you. First, I'm going to just get some paint on the background. I'm going to do a couple of index cards here. What I want to do experiment with my fine line paint applicator and this was what's going to make it fun for me because I love using these fine line paint applicators what I have in here and what I usually use in them is just plain craft paint not expensive I paid 250 for eight ounces on these smaller two ounce bottles I get them for 50 cents and I know that it's student grade paint it's not what an art professional would use, but I'm just doing art journaling. I'm playing. When I get to be what I consider professional, I'll invest in professional grade paint. All right, let's try some other things. I think I have enough to play with these. I might come back and put something over those. Let's experiment. Let's try just the initial. I'm going to put a blue background on there. Ah, there we go. That's what I'm after. Yay! So, you're seeing me play with this gel plate really kind of for the first time. I've done mono printing before, but it's been a while. I do not do a lot of this. But thanks to Terry. Terry, you know who you are. Oh, look at this. Let's try something else. This stencil is fascinating me. I think I'm going to print through this stencil. Yes. 
fun. Like, I'm fascinated with this earbud case. I don't know what... Oh, these are extra earbuds. Do I want those? I think I'm going to leave them in there because I think they're fun. <laughs> I'm going to make some marks. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Ooh. Happy. Yeah. Fun. I could see that in a silver. I don't have silver, but I wonder if I could take some black and white and a little blue. Love it, love it, love it. Ah, beautiful. I think I'm learning how to jelly print. Love these. I do like these. Okay, I'm liking what's happening here with this. I think I can do more with this. I do like this. I like what's happening here. I mix colors. I like what's happening here and here, and I do like this. I'm finding I need, if I work with a fine liner, do a thinner line and further apart because it does tend to smear a little. Now, I'm using the standard gauge. If I was using the fine gauge, I'd have to try it. Maybe I won't get as thick a line, less smearing. And I like my initials, M.M. -M. So... Let's keep going. I'm wondering if I just jelly print inside of the quote book itself. Maybe do two of them, let them dry, work backwards through the year. Because I've missed four months here. Hmm. I think I'll do that. I haven't tried this yet. I think I'll use that this way. Let's try it. kind of happy with these these will ni make nice backgrounds let's do some more I want to print in that book but I'm afraid to <laughs> let's try April 29th see it prosperity is not without fears maybe if I mask that out <laughs> that. April 29th. September 4th though needs some work. This area just needs some more work. Okay, I'm happy with what I'm doing with this little calendar book of quotes rather than me trying to find a quote and print it out and collage it on and everything I decided to just do art in this book of quotes 
and today I use the jelly print. I'm not a jelly printer. This is one of my first experiences. Not the very first, but I don't do this a lot, so I'm still learning. I think I like the September 4th page a lot because of the texture in here. Now I did go back with my fine line paint applicator and added some doodling. April 29th is on the opposite side. And yes, I did get some texture in there, but I kind of wiped it out too. But I like playing with that fine line paint applicator. I think there's more to learn with using the fine line paint applicator on the jelly plate. So I'm going to be working with that. My jelly plate that I'm working with here is a small one. It was a gift in the round robin box, so I think if I had a large one, the writing would be more fun. I was able to do two initials of the M with that jelly plate, and I'm very happy with how these turned out. I'll be using these probably in my glue book. I do like how those turned out. Some of my prints were successes and some of them weren't. This was just the wipe off page. It's very grayish. <laughs> I do like what's happening in here though. This was just another wipe off, but I like this. See, I did that with the fine line paint applicator. And I think there's something more to learn here. I'm gonna be working with that. This was done with the fine line paint applicator. This was more or less a wipe off of it. And this too is a ghost print. This was a ghost print, but I do like it. I like all those tiny circles. And I really like this side. This was more or less experimenting. Some more of these. I do like these, these will be fun for collage elements. I like this one, the stem with a stencil. This is a very nice print, and I really like these. This is really, yes, I'm liking these. Here's another lattice shape, and here's one where I mixed the gray color thinking steampunk. I like that effect. And here's another one of those. That was done with this, I got this little case in the earbuds. In fact, the little earbuds replacements are still there, but I'm not going to put them in my ears <laughs> now. But I am going to go wash this off so that I can get back to that texture, that ribbed texture around here. It makes a really nice print in there. So, fun. A lot of fun. I typical of a lot of what I see on when uh, people do jelly plate printing, they have a lot of extras. <laughs> a lot of things left. Let's see if I can just put some of my more successful ones out here. Yeah, just kind of show them to you. Fun. Thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next page.